الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome you to our 8th lesson of the course Understand Quran and Salah the easy way In this lesson we will study Surah Al-Asr learn some grammar and motivational tips and by the end of this lesson that is following the last seven lessons plus this lesson we will learn 53 words which occur in the Quran almost 25,332 times mashallah Surah Al-Asr is a very concise but very comprehensive surah it gives us a complete way of life according to Islam it talks about four qualities, four qualities, two of them for personal development and two of them for social or societal development. And we will come to that after this. Let us start. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-Asr. Wal-Asr, by the time. Wal-Asr. Wa means by, by of oath, by the time. Al-Asr means time. Wa has two meanings. You have studied so far, and like iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. So wa means and, and it also means by. By means of oath. So wal asr means by the time in, in the Quran many surahs start with wa, oaths. Wal fajr, wal duha, wal layl, wal dhariyat, wal najm, wal sama, and so on. When Allah subhanahu wa taala takes oath of something. It means that thing testifies to the fact that is being mentioned after this. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking oath of time, by the time, meaning the time, meaning history testifies, proves the fact that is being mentioned after this, which is, inna insana lafi khusr. Inna. Indeed, Mankind is surely in loss. Indeed, mankind is surely in loss. This is what is mentioned after the oath. Inna means indeed. And the best way to remember the meaning of inna is to remember this example. Inna allaha ma'asabirin. Indeed, Allah is with those who are with who, those who are patient. So inna means indeed. Inna means indeed. Inna al-insan the man, al-insan, the man meaning mankind, insan means man, al-insan, the man meaning mankind in general, la fi khusr, la means surely, la means surely, or indeed, you know, we studied this, wa laqad yassirna al-Quran al-dhikr, laqad, indeed, already we have made Quran easy, so la means indeed, la fi khusr, fi means in, khusr, is loss. Lafikhus is surely in loss, indeed in loss. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is emphasizing four times about the fact that insan or human being are in loss. What are those four things? Well first of all he's taking oath by the time. And then he's saying inna indeed. And then he says Lafikhus no again surely or indeed what is the fourth emphasis? Fourth emphasis is in the way the sentence is constructed. It says, indeed, the mankind is in loss, except, meaning, majority is in loss. If I have 100 students in the class, and if only five of them pass, I will not say all of them passed except 95. I will say, everyone failed except five. So when Allah says, everyone is in loss, except, that means, it's a minority who will be successful. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about such things, we should be increasingly alert. Increase Our alertness should increase. Well, as Allah is taking an oath, be alert. Inna lafi khusr. Otherwise, I know it will be the case of a person who is so careless as if he's telling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, you take an oath, you say inna, you say whatever you want to. I am just like that. Astaghfirullah. We should interact with the Quran. When Allah stays and takes an oath, 
be alert increase your alertness so let us practice okay wal asr inna al insan la fi khusr again wal asr inna al insan la fi khusr wal asr by the time إن الإنسان لفي خسر. Is surely in loss. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات. Except those who have believed and done righteous deeds. Except إلا. Of course, you cannot forget إلا. لا إله إلا الله. No God except Allah. The meaning of إلا is except. Okay, except. Al-Ladina, those who, Surat Al-Ladina An'amta Alayhim, we already studied that path of those who, so Illa Al-Ladina, except those who, Amanu is from Iman, belief, faith, okay, so Amanu means believed, Amilu, acted, done, Amanu, Amilu, they believed, they acted, this is plural, they believed, they acted, they did, آمنوا وعملوا. الصالح عمل is action. You can you you learned that. إنما الأعمال بالنيات أيكم أحسن عمله. عمل is action to do to act. الصالحات righteous. الصالحات means righteous deeds meaning deeds. Now how will you remember the meaning of righteous? Simple. With belief, what kind of action do you think Allah will accept? Good action or evil action? Of course, he will accept good action. Therefore, the meaning of salihat is good deeds. Simple way to remember. Okay. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And did righteous deeds. Salih. You know, the plural of salih is salihun salihin. We, we learned that. And feminine gender of salih is saliha. And plural of saliha is salihat. Like muslima, muslimat. Saliha, salihat. So, did righteous deeds. Plural deeds. Good deeds. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات except those who have believed and did righteous deeds. You remember the story of عكاشة رضي الله عنه. Once Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was telling. Once he told that seventy thousand people will enter Jannah without any accountability. Allah will not check their accounts. He will just send them to paradise without any checking. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described uh, their their you know special characteristics. That is, they will have trust in Allah subhanahu wa taala, and so on. At that point, you know this was a news item, but at that point, immediately a Sahabi stood up, and his name was Ukasha. He said, "O oh, Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, please pray for me that I am among those seventy thousand." The Prophet said, "You are among those seventy thousand. Why? Because he was so eager. You see, his eagerness proved that. At that point, another Sahabi. First thing you note is that Sahaba did not take this news as part of news. Okay, yeah, seventy thousand will go. They immediately related themselves. Where am I? Am I will? Am I there? And immediately they asked for it. But at that point, another Sahabi stood up. This is more, you know, important." And he said, "O oh, Prophet of Allah, please pray for me too." And the Prophet said, "Rukasha took the lead." And this is what you know we should be when there is prayer going on. Allah, we are being recited. You know, we are being, we are listening to the verse. Wal asri in al insan la fi khusrin illa ladina amanu wa amilu salihat. Immediately from the depth of our heart, for a fraction of second, we can pray for a fraction of second. Oh Allah, help me do these good deeds. Help me have good faith. Okay, interact with the Quran. Translate. Illa al-ladina amanu wa amilu al-salihat. Illa al-ladina amanu wa amilu al-salihat. Righteous deeds. Wa tawasu bil haqi wa tawasu bil sab. وتواصل Arabic is an interesting language. Darasa is studied. Darasa is taught. Tadarasa means taught to each other. 
Tadarasa taught to each other. So Tawasau means they advised each other. They advised each other. Bil Haqqi. Haqq means truth. Where do you find the Haqq? In Quran and Sunnah. That is Haqq. Everything that matches with is Haqq. Everything other than that is Batil, is, is false. Is, that contradicts Quran and Sunnah is false. So, وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ And they advise each other to the truth. وَتَوَاسَوْ And advised each other with sabr. Sabr means what? Not only, you know, surviving in difficulties uh, and, and, and just keeping, uh, without, uh, surviving without complaints. No, sabr has three dimensions. We need sabr to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Suppose it is time to go for fajr. You have to have sabr to, to, to stay awake, get up. Sabr to avoid sins. You know, something is very attractive. You have to have sabr to stay, you know, away from that. And sabr to face difficulties. By the way, in Quran, sabr generally follows after doing da'wah. When you are doing da'wah work and you face difficulties, then sabr is mentioned in the Quran in general. Not for the difficulties in general terms, like for sickness and things like that. No, in the field of da'wah. Like here, Allah says, وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ So when you are doing this da'wah work, then you need sabr. You advise each other to the sabr. So just faith and actions, amanu amilu salihat is not enough. You know, we have a wrong saying among ourselves. Oh, what a righteous person. He is so pious. MashaAllah, he prays to himself, he fasts, and he bothers nobody. Come on. According to this surah, he is in complete loss. Unless he advise each other. I mean, advising each other is to is go visit somebody and talk to him, involve. So this is a necessary condition for, I mean, for najat, for, for you know, success in the hereafter, of safety from the loss. So let us practice. وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْصَبْرِ وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ To the truth. وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْصَبْرِ What is Haqq? Haqq is وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ Keep everything, you know, in mind. The Quran and Sunnah and all the steps that are required you know, at individual life, collective life, complete Islam, you have to convey to each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to do all of these things and accept from us. Brothers and sisters, let's take a break and after the break, we'll study grammar. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Let us continue with eighth lesson, the grammar part of it. Please note that if you, you know, are watching this first time, then we are doing we are learning different forms of Arabic words using total physical interaction. That is, you see it, you listen, you think, and you say it, and you show it. Okay, you say it, and you show it. Uh, so you involve completely in learning, and that way, inshallah, you can learn it much better. We have learned earlier that there are three kinds of words that we speak, or write, or, or say, or listen to, as far as Arabic is concerned. That is, there are three types of words in Arabic. First is ism or noun, which represents names and attributes. The second is fi'l or verb, which tells us about an action. And the third is harf or letter, which joins nouns and or verbs. In today's class, we will be working on verb. So far, we have worked on nouns and also prepositions and other letters. Today, we will work on or learn about verb. In Arabic language, most of the verbs come from three root letters. Almost 90% of the verbs in Arabic language are made of three root letters. For example, fa'ala, he did. Fataha, he opened. Nasara, he helped. Daraba, he hit. Sami'a, he listened to. So they are comprised of three root letters. And from these three root letters, we can take, we can make different forms as we will learn, you know, some of them today. Arabic language has two types of tenses. 
two types of tenses. One is fi'l madi, which is translated as past or perfect tense actually. The, this verb tells us that the work has been done or finished, perfect tense. And the second is fi'l mudari, which is imperfect tense. Actually, fi'l mudari, the translation of fi'l mudari is the work which has not been done yet. Is being done or will be done? We'll look about it in the next, uh, next lesson. So let us learn to make different forms using fa'ala, different forms of past tense using three root letters, fa'ala. Fa'ala is heeded, and let us do it using, or let us practice using TPI. So repeat after me. Fa'ala heeded. Fa'ala heeded. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'alna we did. Please note that almost 5,000 words of the Quran come on this pattern. In fact, more than 5,000, I believe, because they are extensively used. On these patterns, not just the same words, but on these patterns. And if you know, if we remember, or if we learn this basic pattern, then inshallah, whenever we are given other root letters, we can use the same style, the same structure, the same die, you know, metal die, uh, like this is verb die, and make different forms. So repeat after me, we'll practice it for five minutes so we learn it thoroughly. So please don't get uh, you know, tired, be enthusiastic, do it with love and enthusiasm because this is a matter of learning the Quran. So take a deep breath and stand upright or sit upright and inshallah practice. Fa'ala he did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'ala he did. Show your right hand to the right side just like we did it for huwa hum. But in this time your hand should be horizontal because the imperfect tense of mudari' or present and future for that we will use our hand at a higher level. So fa'al Madi, past tense or perfect tense, to be more precise, perfect tense or fi'l madi uh, will be shown like this with our hand horizontal. Okay, horizontal. So again, fa'ala he did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Two more times. Fa'ala he did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu they did. Fa'alta you did. Fa'altum you all did. Fa'altu I did. Fa'alna we did. Now let us translate it five times. We want to learn this past tense thoroughly within next four or five minutes. So translate. Fa'ala he did. Fa'alu, they did. Fa'alta, you did. Fa'altum, you all did. Fa'altu, I did. Fa'alna, we did. Fa'ala, he did. Fa'alu, they did. Fa'alta, you did. Fa'altum, you all did. Fa'altu, I did. Fa'alna, we did. Just see where I am emphasizing. You see the endings are changing. Again, three more times. Fa'ala, he did. Fa'alu, they did. Fa'alta, you did. Fa'altum, you all did. Fa'altu, I did. Fa'alna, we did. Fa'ala, Fa'alu, Fa'alta, Fa'altum, Fa'altu, Fa'alna, Last time, Fa'ala, Fa'alu, Fa'alta, Fa'altum, Fa'altu, Fa'alna. You see, just to link, Anta uh, Fa'alta, this can be linked, and Antum Fa'altum, this also can be linked. Anta Fa'alta, Antum Fa'altum. Similarly, 
نحن فعلنا. So at least we have three link direct links. نحن نا 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 نحن فعلنا. But let rest uh, as we practice, we can learn, you know, all of these. So now you have translated. Let us do the third cycle where we think in Arabic, repeat in Arabic, thinking what we are saying. Okay. So repeat after me, thinking what you are saying. فعل عليك. And uh, and and imagine that, mashallah, he has done something good. He has learned Arabic. You have learned Arabic. I have learned Arabic for studying, understanding the Quran, spreading the message of the Quran. So repeat after me. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. Three more times. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. Last time. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. Can you repeat after me slowly? فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. فعل فعلو. فعلت فعلتم. فعلت فعلنا. ما شاء الله. فعل ماضي can be represented by these you know also you know different ways. Somebody has sown a seed and it has grown into big tree. He has already done the work. Now the person who is who has done that work is standing beside the tree. There is a tree and the person there next to the tree. So big the tree comes first when you look at it. So فعل the فعل the action is there. So فعل فعلو فعلت فعلتم فعلتو فعلنا. There is a tree with you, big tree with all of you, with big tree with me. So I mean the فعل the action is first because it is already done completed. In mudare it will be opposite and we will learn it then. Similarly, uh, in this one you can see that plane taking off at the at the bottom. The reason is whatever has gone taken place. Whatever has gone. You, you just see the end. For example, if, if I stand in the middle of the road, uh, if it is a car or a taxi or a truck or whatever, a cycle, a motorcycle, I just see the end of it. And looking at the end, I can tell what has gone. Similarly here, فَعَلُوا فَعَلْتَ فَعَلْتُمْ فَعَلْتُوا فَعَلْنَا So the ends will tell me who has done the work. So instead of drawing all those trucks and cars and buses, I just drew a plane taking off. If you stand in the middle of a runway and the plane has gone, at the end you see those changes. Now let us come to learning tip. There are seven styles of learning in general. And each one has a dominant mode of learning. Even though all of us learn in the, all, all of the seven ways, but every individual is unique. Uh, you know, someone has one dominant mode of learning, you know, for example, someone learns in group better than in, uh, you know, when he is alone. Someone prefers to be alone when he studies and so on. Someone prefers to listen, someone prefers to watch. So the, these uh, styles are, number one, by listening from sounds, uh, from qiraat, from songs. So I would say try to listen to this tape, which is a uh, one-hour tape, which has complete short course, you can listen to it again and again, and inshallah within a week you will be master at it. The second style is seeing, by looking at things. Listening comes first, by the way. You will never find a deaf person to be a scholar, but you can find so many blind persons to be scholars. Why? Because listening is primary mode of learning, not seeing. Saying. Saying is by telling others, repeating, you will learn. Similarly, by touching. You know, when it comes to cooking or checking, you know, how the, the food is being cooked, you have to, you know, learn it by touching or buying clothes or checking some fruits. So you have to learn it by touching. Similarly, using logic, reasons, especially in mathematics or in logic. Or there are people who learn in groups. They always prefer classroom. And this is a standard mode of learning. 
and there are some people who want to learn you know, when they are alone or individuals. So use all of these and try to use more the mode that you prefer. So these are the same seven styles, listening, seeing, saying, touching, using logic in groups and individually. Brothers and sisters, uh, by the end of this lesson, we have learned 53 words which occur in the Quran almost 25,332 times. We have to reach 78,000 and inshallah we will continue in the next lesson. Till then, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.